this video, I'm gonna be trying the fastest controller in Fortnite. And when I say fastest, I mean literally. I modified this PS4 controller to have insanely fast triggers, which means I literally only have to click it down a few millimeters to activate it. This means I can build, edit, shoot, aim, literally do everything so much faster. And it's actually not only my triggers that activate faster, every single button on this controller activates faster than the standard PS4 controller. I installed a kit on this controller that makes every single button on it tactile and clicky, which means not only are they faster, but they also sound and feel really satisfying. How I did it was by buying this kit from Extreme Rate on Amazon called the Extreme Rate Hold Tactile Clicky Kit. It's a $20 kit which seems like a really good deal, but the issue with it is that the installation process is literally nuts. You have to nearly gut your entire controller, taking it apart piece by piece until you can reach the motherboard in this little flimsy kind of plastic electronic piece. And the basic explanation of what you have to do and what this kit actually does is that you have to remove a bunch of pieces and replace them. You need to remove these sort of mushy silicone pads that give the normal PS4 controller buttons the feel that they have. When you press down all these buttons on a normal PS4 controller, they're actually cushioned. So you basically remove the cushion and replace it with this piece that you get in the kit. And then you also remove the little mushy pieces from the triggers and you remove this little plastic flimsy electronic piece that I'm guessing is the piece that actually receives the input from the buttons. And you get replacement parts for all those in the kit. So you put in all the D-pad and face button pieces and then you also put in this new flimsy electronic piece. And this is the piece that actually has the clicky activators directly on it. All of these are what make the buttons so fast and so clicky. Then in all four of the top controller pieces and like the triggers you have to put these plastic clear pieces and these are the pieces that basically allow your triggers to only have to go down like millimeters. And once this is all done I was finally able to close up my controller and hope that I did everything right and didn't fully ruin my new controller. I do want to warn you guys that I am not advising you guys to go out and actually purchase this kit and install it on your controller. If you try to install this kit and you don't know what you're doing, you can absolutely destroy a perfectly good PS4 controller. I've taken apart my PS4 controllers countless times, so I was pretty confident that I was going to be able to do this, which is why I installed it on a brand new PS4 controller, and thankfully I didn't mess anything up. And it's working pretty well for me. I'm really liking this. And just the clickiness of these buttons feels so comfortable. And every time you click them, it's just like satisfying. They bounce right back and they're super like tactile. And like I mentioned, they are really quick as well. So they give you like a real advantage in game. Every action you do in game, you can do it faster. And I installed this kit on my brand new PS4 controller because this is actually my brand new controller setup. This is the controller setup that I'm planning on always using now. And I think this is the last piece that I needed to absolutely perfect my setup. Because along with this whole tactile clicky kit, I also have a few other controller accessories on this as well. I obviously have this bright purple Galaxy Control Freak on my right stick. I use the mid-rise one. I also have the PS4 Lizard Skin Grip on this. This grip is like a rubber textured grip that just makes the controller a lot more comfortable to hold. I actually prefer this controller grip that was on my other controller setup and I just like the material on that more but this is already on this controller so I'm just gonna use it it's not bad or anything I just prefer the other grip And the last control accessory that I used is this four paddle strike pack eliminator. If you know what a strike pack is, you're probably wondering if I use the mods and that would not be true. I do not use any of the mods. If you don't know what a strike pack is, basically it's like $40 and it adds four extra really comfortable buttons to the back of your PS4 controller. However, the company that made it also made it capable of having mods on it. So you can get like some turbo mode. I think there's like advanced aim assist or something. But basically you're able to cheat in game with it. But if you've ever noticed while I'm playing, I actually always have have it on the white which is tournament mode which means that even if I was to have mods installed they wouldn't be active to have active mods you have to actually turn it to blue which the blue looks like this so like I said I keep mine in white that's tournament mode we're all good no mods just really comfortable paddles and for my binds I actually use a top left paddle jump a top right paddle edit my bottom left paddle is tactical sprint and reset and then my bottom right paddle is my pickaxe and this entire controller setup basically just gives me a ton of advantages over the standard 
your PS4 controller. I have these extra buttons so I never have to take my thumbs off the thumbsticks. I have this control freak for more precise aim. I have these super fast triggers and buttons so I can literally do everything faster. And then I also have this grip to make my controller just more comfortable overall. So this entire setup is probably somewhere right around $160. But for me personally, I think it's worth it. I've tried a $240 scuff controller that I don't even like as much as this setup. I think that right there just showed off some of the quickness of these buttons. Let's go! Wiped out the last three kills as well. It just goes to show this setup is absolutely so good. So thank you guys for watching. I hope to see you in another video.